even though you don't really see it in your finished project, stabilizer is just as important as thread when you're embroidering. There's a lot of different kinds out there, it can be a little overwhelming, but we're going to boil it down into a few main categories to think about when you're choosing a stabilizer for your project. But first of all, why even use a stabilizer? Well, one of the things it does is stabilize your fabric when you're embroidering to prevent pulling and puckering when you're stitching. It also holds the fabric firmly in place so that your machine can be precise when it's stitching out a design. It gives you a way to attach fabric securely to a hoop, and it can also provide something for you to stitch into when you're stitching out a freestanding design like lace or crochet. So the first main category of stabilizer we're going to talk about is cutaway stabilizer. Cutaway stabilizer stays in your project for permanent support. After you're done embroidering, the excess stabilizer is cut away, leaving behind whatever is caught in the embroidery stitches. A few examples of cutaway stabilizers are Inspira Cutaway and Inspira Whisper Web Mesh. Cutaway stabilizer prevents your design from being distorted by stretching after stitching. The softer texture of cutaway stabilizer is really nice against your skin, so it's a good choice for garments. It's also a good choice for dense embroideries and on medium to heavyweight woven fabrics and unstable fabrics like knits because it is so supportive. The next stabilizer to talk about is tearaway stabilizer. Tearaway stabilizer tears, just like paper. When you stitch, it perforates the stabilizer and the excess can be torn away pretty easily. Any stabilizer left behind in the design will eventually wash away. Some examples include Inspira Tearaway and Inspira Tearaway Light. Tearaway stabilizer can be used on stable woven fabrics and with embroidery designs that won't be stressed or agitated a lot because it's not quite as permanent as cutaway stabilizer. The next category of stabilizer is water soluble stabilizer. Water soluble stabilizer is a fabric like material that dissolves completely away in water. An example would be Inspira Aqua Magic. It's a good choice when only temporary stabilization is needed. It's also used as a foundation stabilizer when stitching out freestanding lace or applique designs. Hoop up some aqua magic, stitch out your design, dunk it in a bowl of water, and then magically all the stabilizer is gone and just your embroidery is left. Water soluble stabilizer can also take the form of something that looks like a thin plasticky film. An example of this would be Inspira Dissolve Away. This kind of water soluble stabilizer is meant to be used as a topper, so you put it on the top of heavily textured or napped fabrics to prevent your stitches from sinking down into the pile of the fabric. This is a great thing to use when you're embroidering fabrics like terry cloth or fleece. The last category of stabilizers we are going to cover is tacky stabilizers. Tacky stabilizers are stabilizers that have a sticky, repositionable surface on one or both sides. An example would be Inspira Light and Tacky. Tacky stabilizers are great to use for items that are too small to be hooped, or as foundations for fabrics that would scar easily from hoop impressions, like velvet or vinyl. All you have to do is hoop up some tacky stabilizer and stick on whatever you're embroidering. Piece of cake. So that covers four main categories of embroidery stabilizers. Quick recap, you have cutaway stabilizer, which is permanent stabilization and is good for heavier fabrics or unstable fabrics like knits. You have tearaway stabilizer, which tears like paper and is good for fabrics or embroideries that won't be agitated or washed a lot. You have water soluble stabilizer. The fabric kind is good for temporary stabilization and for freestanding designs like lace and crochet. And the film-like kind is good for a topper on top of textured fabrics to prevent the stitches from sinking down in the plushness of the fabric. And you have your tacky stabilizer, which is good for things that are too small to fit into a hoop or for fabrics that are too fragile to be squeezed into a hoop. Hopefully that helps you on your quest for stabilizer for your embroidery projects. Be sure to catch the next episode where we talk all about hoops.